Something about 3i Atlas changed today. Not in theory, not in models, in real images from independent observers taken hours apart. The color is shifting, the structure isn't behaving the same way, and the features we expect it to fade are getting clearer instead. This isn't noise, and it's not just one dataset. Let's look at what's actually changing. Earlier images showed a smooth, uniform green glow dominated by diatomic carbon and cyanogen emissions. Today, that balance is off. The inner region is showing a warmer yellow-gold core, while the surrounding green emission is shifting outward instead of staying centered. That's not cosmetic. It indicates a real shift in which molecules are dominating the coma possibly suggesting temperature changes in the venting material or exposure of fresh subsurface layers with different volatile composition. If this object were settling down or breaking apart, we'd expect the center to soften and spread as material disperses. Instead, it's doing the opposite. The core is more compact, the brightness falls off faster, and the boundary between the nucleus region and surrounding envelope is sharper than before, that's a sign of continued active venting from a localized source, not passive fading or structural collapse. In earlier frames, the tail looked broader and slightly diffuse. In the newest images, it's cleaner, more directional, more stable from frame to frame. In star-suppressed versions, a blue-leaning anti-solar component becomes easier to isolate. That tells us the outflow isn't random, it's organized. Different particle sizes or ionization states are separating along distinct trajectories, creating structured features rather than chaotic dispersion. No secondary cores, no debris cloud, no sudden loss of brightness. There's no clear evidence of fragmentation. What we're seeing looks like a transition, not a breakup. The nucleus remains intact while emission characteristics evolve. That suggests internal processes are changing how material is released, but the object itself maintains structural integrity. These changes didn't take weeks. They appeared between closely spaced observations, color balance, core contrast, tail coherence, all shifting over hours to days. Something about how 3i Atlas is interacting with sunlight has changed recently. Whether that's rotation bringing different surface regions into view, subsurface reservoirs opening new vents, or thermal evolution reaching a new phase, the rapid pace indicates active ongoing processes, not gradual wind down. Now look at the heavily processed star suppressed frames designed to isolate structure. At the center, the core shows up as a compact high contrast region surrounded by a distinctly asymmetric halo. The red toned envelope isn't evenly distributed, it's offset. That tells us emission isn't expanding uniformly in all directions. Something is shaping it likely directional jets from active regions on the rotating nucleus. The tail shows a narrow, linear feature extending cleanly away from the core. Thin, directed, persistent. That's not what random dust dispersion looks like. This kind of structure usually points to either a localized active region on the surface or concentrated outflow along a stable axis. Both scenarios require ongoing activity, driving material release in organized patterns. If fragmentation were occurring, we'd expect chaos, blurring, multiple peaks, loss of coherence. Instead, we see organization. The structure isn't collapsing, it's showing direction. Combined with the color shift and tightening core, a pattern emerges suggesting this isn't an object winding down, but one entering a new activity phase. Star-aligned grayscale captures strip-away color bias and processing tricks, leaving only structure. The central condensation shows a tight, almost point-like core sitting inside a darker inner halo, a strong brightness gradient. If material were simply dispersing, we'd expect the center to soften first. Instead, the core stays compact while the surrounding coma fades outward. Activity is still driven from a localized source. The coma isn't evenly round. There's subtle elongation aligned with the measured position angle, the same direction seen in other datasets. Different processing methods, same geometry, that's not random, and the background stars are clean with no trailing artifacts that could fake directional features. What you're seeing is intrinsic to the object. This reinforces the pattern. A stable, compact core with directional structure emerging rather than dissolving. That's significant because this is exactly the stage where many comets start losing coherence. 3i Atlas isn't. Across today's images, 3i Atlas is not fading as expected. Color shift.
Recent frames show movement toward greener, slightly yellowish glow compared to earlier uniform green. Compact core. The central region stays tight and concentrated instead of spreading. Clearer structure, features that should be softening are sharpening instead. Stable directional extension, aligned consistently across multiple images taken hours apart. Asymmetric glow, clear asymmetry suggesting uneven activity, not random noise. No breakup signs, no fragments, no secondary objects, structure remains coherent. These changes aren't from one observer or setup. They're appearing independently across different locations using different equipment and processing methods. That's reproducible evidence of real physical change. What we're seeing is not weakening, it's definition. The object is becoming clearer, not quieter. Several interpretations are possible. Natural transition, rotation exposing different surface regions with varying volatile content, creating observed color and brightness variations as fresh material vents, thermal evolution, subsurface layers reaching temperatures that trigger release of different molecular species shifting emission profiles, structural exposure, surface erosion revealing deeper layers with distinct composition, explaining the sharper core boundaries and color changes, active phase, internal processes driving increased organized outflow, possibly from newly opened vents or subsurface pressure release. All are consistent with active comet behavior. None require exotic explanations, but the persistence and organization of the changes, particularly the stable directional features and intensifying core, suggest this isn't random evolution. Something specific is driving these patterns. Today's images, especially Dan Bartlett's latest captures, don't show chaos. They show change in color, texture, and how this object expresses activity. What's driving it? Natural transition and venting material? Surface changes we're finally resolving? Rotation bringing new features into view? Or something we haven't fully characterized yet? The data is accumulating. The patterns are reproducible across independent observers. And 3i Atlas continues to resist simple categorization. It's not fragmenting, it's not fading predictably, it's evolving in ways that demand continued observation. What do you think is happening? Natural comet evolution, or behavior requiring closer attention. Share your analysis below. Subscribe for updates as new images arrive. The observations continue.